Hey guys, today I am going to talk about Boogie2988 and also the idea that he is still not. He would rather scam his audience on a crypto coin, which is bad. He would rather fake cancer to get donations and e-bag, which is bad. Then sell his Magic the Gathering collection, which he still has. He's been asked multiple times by someone like Caleb Hammer, what boogie? If you need money, why don't you sell your Magic the Gathering collection? To which he's responded in various ways, including, well, you know, it go only goes up in price. Then in the next Caleb Hammer interview, he says, well, you know, it's like Beanie Babies. I can't sell them. So it's one or the other, right? When you have a situation where you need money, uh, Magic cards, even if you don't like taking the loss, they are worth money. And there is a marketplace that Boogie knows. It's his local game store. If you are so lazy that you don't want to sell them online, you can go take them to your local game store and they'll pay you 25%, 30%, maybe a little bit more. It obviously depends on the... It really depends on the quality of the card as well as your local game store, what they actually do for you. So... Uh, in terms of Boogie2988, no one should feel sad about him. He still has arcades. If you've seen the uh, Fatty Token video, uh, he's got a young girlfriend that could be his daughter's age that they go on vacations to. Um, they go to different conventions. He has a dog. He, he's not somebody hurting for money. If he was hurting for money, he would absolutely sell his Magic the Gathering collection. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that would be one of the first things that he would go ahead and sell. Because it is one of the most liquid items he had. Like his arcade games aren't really liquid. They're kind of bulky items. And who's really going to buy a used arcade cabinet you know, versus a magic card, which is really easy to transport, really easy to ship, should buggy sell on eBay. And that's one of my biggest concerns is he's got all these collectibles that many of them were gifts to him. Um, absolutely, they were gifts. Why not sell his collectibles? Why not learn how to do eBay? Why not learn how to sell on TCG Player or you know anywhere else, right? I mean, there are a lot of different options available to Boogie in terms of, hey, right? Like, where can we sell these things? But he doesn't want to sell. He's refusing to sell. He is basically... No, and, and dire needs of my, again, if you are willing to fake cancer for two years and you're not willing to learn eBay, so then you sell your Gayer's Cradle for $200 at the local game store, you can sell a Gayer's Cradle just went for $500, $600 on eBay in very bad condition. His looked like they were in great condition. If you can just learn the skill of eBay, you can just sell all your stuff. Is, is you, are you going to get the top part? No, you're going to pay eBay fees. But that's a hell of a lot better than taking to your game store. That's just lazy. And then, I mean, I love dogs. I foster dogs. And I always tell them, that, I always tell them that if you can't provide your dog medical attention or hospital bills or good food, then maybe the dog is better off at you know, a different location that can provide him or her a better life. So Boogie's got, I think, one dog, maybe two dogs, I'm not sure. Um, and if you are looking to help, and, and they asked him this question during his cancer, when he was called out for cancer, aren't you, don't you want to help your girlfriend? Don't you want to set her up for life? And she doesn't really have the skill set. I mean, you need to absolutely sell your magic cards. Your magic cards are doing you no good. You should, in this financial state, it's, it's a two-headed dragon, right? Number one, you shouldn't be buying more magic cards. You shouldn't be spending more time playing magic. You shouldn't be making more decks. When things are so dire, you have to lie about cancer. When things are so dire, you have to scam via crypto, fatty coin, whatever. Now is not the time to, now is not the time, guys. It is not the time to double down on Magic the Gathering. It is not the time to spend your valuable time on Magic the Gathering. It is not the time to do any of this stuff.
because uh, frankly speaking, it is not, you, you should be doing everything but this. You know, you should be trying to find a job. You should be trying to sell off, again, things on eBay or TCG Player or where maybe you have a flea market of some type. You should not be building new magic decks when things are financially dire and you have no incoming salary coming in. Like, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious in my opinion. In my mind, it's a really simple thing to understand. You don't buy cards when you're broke because cards are not going to make you rich. Cards are a luxury. Cards are a luxury. Um, they are something that uh, you, you really you need only if you have the money to afford it. So again, um, when we talk about Boogie and his inability and his unwillingness unwilling, to sell his magic cards, he shouldn't be faking. He shouldn't be e-begging. The first thing I would do was sell his magic, sell my magic cards, if it really came to a financial. And if I had to take a haircut, you take the haircut. If I had to lose money on it, I lose money on it because at the end of the day, we are. He is in a fine. According to himself, he is in a financially dire situation that he would lie about cancer for two years. I don't know what human being would do that, but if the situation really was that bad, you do not need to uh, you do not need to be playing Magic the Gathering. That is the last thing that you need in your life. You shouldn't be collecting it. You shouldn't. There are a lot of things you need to do before you. Uh, there's a hell of a lot of things better off that you need to do before you really buy more magic cards or enter an EDH tournament or pay, you know, a mission fee to your local card. I mean, there are so many people in the same situation, not, not as extreme, right? They obviously haven't lied about cancer, but in the same situation and it's kind of mind boggling, right? You would rather pay magic than pay your rent. You'd rather play, pay for magic than have a girlfriend or start a relationship to really try that, right? For dinner dates and so on. You'd rather spend a few hundred dollars in the newest box, news collector's edition box, pull absolute jank, then take your girlfriend or if you have a family on a nice vacation or a nice nicer, you know, maybe even a dinner meal, a dinner and a movie. When um, you have someone like Boogie and it is looking very bleak, and oh my God, it is very, very bleak for Boogie right now. It, it's the, you know, it's, it's it's not good for Boogie, I'll put it that way. The last thing you need to do is spend more money or more time on Magic the Gathering. Like You just got to get rid of that hobby. It is not a hobby that's going to get you a job. It is not a hobby that will get you a girlfriend. It is not a hobby that is good for your mental health. All you're going to do is spend more money, not get the hits you want. And uh, yikes, right? Anyway, guys, let me know if you guys agree or disagree in the comments below. Bye.